Good evening, everybody. I want to start out with a shout out to uh, Pedikin for a follow. I'm not sure when you followed, but I do appreciate it. Hopefully, we'll see you here tonight. Now let's get going into the nightmare. God, do I even remember how to play? This is going to happen every single time. Freaking labyrinth. Oh god. Right this way. I'm guessing that was probably the wrong. Considering we're going back around. Or am I just... Did I find the infinite loop? Just almost. And from, I guess let's go this way. Ugh, if I knew this was going to be a labyrinth, I would have grabbed a piece of paper. I feel like they would be shouting at me again if I was getting... I think it's coming off from this way. <laughs> Definitely down this way. back the other way. Like, like right here. where I started. Oh, Damn. No, please. Okay. Why? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. So stop. It is back this way still. Okay. Where's the next audio trigger? And now I'm back at this freaking four way again. Hearing it from the left. I'm starting to think there's only that one audio trigger. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, I found it. Michelle looked at me from the photo. Captured in a Polaroid moment. I had thought it would last forever, 
till death do us part. I didn't want to think about it. As long as I didn't, it could never happen. But I had broken my own rule. The thought had already slipped in. Fear was rusty needles poking at my brain. Cold and scaly, it slithered down my chest. Pictures were filled with Alex and I had a few moments of glory between us. Crime fighting comrades, the best in NYPD DEA collaborative team. Good hearted macho bullshit like that. I would have given anything to have him here as my backup. No such luck. No luck at all. that path is blocked. Oh god, another labyrinth. Oh no, it's just this annoying beam walking. Yeah, just so if we fall. It's crap again. A straight up jump, isn't there? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. This is the worst designed level in all three of these games. Hands down. My wife, on the other hand, is getting slaughtered by Dark Spawn right next to me. Oh, never mind. It was Bounty Hunters. He's playing Dragon Age Origins. Hit the lineup. No. 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 Damn it. Ah. <sighs> Wanting to press Y to jump. Y is not jump. Oh, this is the wrong path, too. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. My God, maybe it's easier for me just to jump this whole level. that way. <sighs> well, now I'm pretty sure I'm going the wrong way. And it doesn't matter anyway. We're just gonna go and see what happens. And try not to fall as much. I think that was it. Thought I saw something. Doorway! Please be right the right direction. I hate that section so much. Oh, thank God. No, no, please, God, no. It's bad that I said that right as I found the dead baby. It feels bad, but I, I really meant it just as like, I don't have to do that section again. I promise. I'm not that heartless. Shoot 
blow them to bits, vaporize them, disintegrate them. No matter what you do, they'll still be that good as new. Michelle's diary lay on the table. Michelle was working part-time in the district attorney's office. Her diary was opened on today's entry, her handwriting all pretty curves. An army dossier found its way to my desk yesterday. Valhalla? Isn't that a Norse myth? Something about Vikings? I tried to tell Max about it, but he was busy, that cute frown on his brow. Guess it's nothing, just a mix-up at the courier service. From now on, I would always find time for her. It was a hollow promise. Too little, too late. Hindsight is always 2020. No, please, Max. Why? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Murderer! You killed her! Nothing like that ever happens in the real world. up in a bad dream. My head felt two sizes too small for my brain. Max Payne, I envy your name. And the killer was smiling. Pleased to meet you. I'm Frankie to bat Niagara. Niagara, as in you cry a lot? He had a baseball bat and I was tied to a chair. Pissing him off was the smart thing to do. I'm just saying, if, if that guy was good at his job, he wouldn't be alive after a single swing. I love to watch cartoons. Cartoon violence is a fascinating thing. Let's take a break. I need to take a leak and maybe grab a cold one at the bar. Don't worry. I'll be back to finish this off. And then, it's checkout time. You play. He swaggered out, and the door clanged shut behind him, locks clicking into place. Everyone makes mistakes. If mine hadn't been to crack jokes about the goon with the bat, he'd have cracked my skull regardless. It hadn't even been to trust a girl with a gun. I had blindly gone after the first bad guy on my hit list when I should have been aiming further up the ladder, at the head of the Punchinello family. I couldn't bring myself to be pissed and moaning. Guess I had a soft spot for a pretty face. But when somebody decides to play baseball with your head, you tend to get sore. They had dragged me back to the basement of Lupino's hotel. I was beaten, bruised, and blue. I felt like the chair I had broken to get free. That's a fair analogy. All I had was Niagara's bat, sticky with my own blood. Oh, good. I have a baseball bat. Low health. Gun, I'd be no match and no painkillers. I'd have to play hide and seek with them. Oh, good. Painkillers. No match for Frankie's men. I'd have to play hide and seek with them. <laughs> All right, so you know that there's two guys down this way and two guys down that way. Ooh. Oh, I don't like 
this at all. Holy crap. All right. Oh, Y is reload. There we go. Killers. Thank you. strip next to a sewer passage filled with bodies you'd better not mess with captain baseball bat boy even my arch enemy bicycle helmet girl swoons at the sight of me Aha! there were enough I, I love how just on the nose these names are baseball bat boy and bicycle helmet girl just that's just beautiful I'm about to die again. Let's do this. Well, not how I meant it to go, but I'll take it. Like the disappearing limb on the texture. Someone just tried to blow me up. This is not going to end well. Oh my god, it ended well. I mean, barely. Look at my health. That's about as close as you can possibly get. Those are dead cops. Alright, so I don't think... Can I do anything with this? Mobile Arrest Center. I like it. So I can't do anything with that. Drive the truck. Cleared out the warehouse. Oh my god. Unit 294, just respond. Come on. I'm getting double audio now. So I would imagine that I need to go out this way, right? 
mean, that makes sense. Anything with this. Okay. Where the crap am I supposed to go? Not that way. The hotel's blocked off. Oh, I'm an idiot. I just had to walk into it. Blue had come and gone. They had decorated the place with chalk. You know, Detonator, I love this game, too. Uh, I'm going through the whole trilogy, so... You tuned in just in time. This is only episode three the of the play. I, stayed behind were dead. I hit this Frank up every Saturday night. I had the place all for ourselves. A hill I will die on is that Sam Lake definitely knows how to write. Just forget about it. <laughs> Just forget about it. Hey, forget, forget about, about it. it. That crazy witch you should have heard her. She was a real scream when the boys caught her trying to cap the Don. Oh, that's friggin' bad. To the trio? That's even worse than what Frankie's doing to that poor bastard downstairs. She's gonna take a long time to die. The mobster muscle on the phone was talking about Mona. Punchinello's trio were nothing but bad news. Okay. I'm just gonna jump right in, huh, boys? You know, you would think that, considering Max Payne worked for the NYPD before he went to the DEA and went undercover, you'd think the NY that NYPD would maybe do their due diligence. The fact remains that all the victims so far identified in the Ragnarok shooting have been known criminals, many of whom had large doses of V in their blood. Reliable sources say that Max Payne was also among those killed, although no body has been recovered at this time. Reliable sources. That meant somebody thought the Mafia had me and didn't want the cops snooping around anymore. The body would be delivered to them barely recognizable. The case closed. Don Punchinello had the power to be that reliable source, which was no news. But his news was old news. Framing me hadn't been enough. Don Punchinello had put a hit on me. He wanted me dead, and it had been important enough for him to give written instructions to Frankie about it. <laughs> Max Payne should die like a dog for the trouble he's caused. Frankie, I know I can trust you to give this matter the dedication it needs. The hotel bar was fast developing quite a history. True to his words, Frankie was there, having a beer. Jesus Christ. How the hell did you get loose? Got bored waiting. Thought, what the hell, we could just as well finish this here. Fine by me. This works out just as well. I don't have any throwable. It's okay. I did not mean to dive, but that's okay.
<laughs> I think we killed each other. Good times. Just forget about it. It's pain. little game back and forth. Alright, let's see if I can not die like a dog this time. Oh my gosh. Man, for once the auto aim is actually hurting me. There we go. Now we got him. I spotted the tail as soon as I left the hotel. A big black Mercedes. I'd seen the car before. That time it had heralded impressive explosions. Vladimir was back. Bang. You're dead, Max Payne. I might have left if I remembered how. <laughs> What's this supposed to be? Cops and robbers? Look, you want something with me? Get in line. Peace, man. Relax. You know you are a real news item. Armed and dangerous. I am going to make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. It's a bum rap. I've been framed. Well, that's a moot point. Whatever you did or did not do, I'm sure you had good reason for doing it. Want to hear me out? I'm listening. Pancinello messing with V is bad for business all around. But that's not all. There is this guy, Boris Dine, used to pull jobs for me. He's the captain of the cargo ship Charon. Now the bastard turncoat has gone over to the other side, Poncinello's. The ship's loaded with high-res hardware, guns, my business. If Punchuniello gets hold of that cargo, he's won and I have lost. And you'll have your work cut out for you. If you want to get to Punchuniello, you will need heavy-duty persuaders. I am just the man to get them for you. Change the ship back under my flag, maybe pop two in the traitor dime's head while you're at it. You'll get enough guns to start the apocalypse. You in or out? Let's get this show on the road. Vladimir was one of those old-time bad guys with honor and morals, which made him almost one of the good guys. None of us was a saint. The Brooklyn Riverfront was a maze of rusty containers, sharp bone cranes looming up from the snowstorm. On a night like this, you couldn't help but think of the dark army of dead men sleeping with the fishes, cement shoes in line. No minotaur lurked in this labyrinth, but somewhere out there, on the clanking deck of his cargo freighter, the skipper of the Chiron was waiting, like the ferryman in the river Styx. Seriously, for how old this game is, the writing is just so good. Hi. <laughs> Open sesame.
No, it was the crane that made the noise. Okay. Thought something blew up for a second. I see I did not see pain kill. Okay. You know, I don't think those broken stairs back there are up to code. I'm just saying. I mean, you know, all the guns also probably are not up to code. They probably frown on that kind of thing. This, this whole warehouse set is just like massive OSHA violation. Look at that. That can't be up to code. It just can't be. Alright. Those did nothing. Got it. Oh my god, there's an elevator here. You know, I said it in the first episode, I'll say it again. I miss the simplest shit in this game. I really do. First time I started streaming it, I, uh, I wandered around the subway for like 20 minutes before I realized that there was a switch on the wall that let me go through. Dog. That's German. These guys are Russian. Um, I don't actually know how to say hello in Russian. I know, excuse me. I know. I know, excuse me. I know. Um, I understand a little. I know Russian. I know English. I know yes and I know no. That's that's it. That's all I got. I can't even say hello or goodbye. I think goodbye is dosvidanya. Pretty sure that's goodbye. Okay, so I don't know hello. I was already over here. What am I doing? What am I doing? I don't even know. <laughs> Clean up on aisle four. <laughs> that was a stupid joke. Pretty sure I can't climb things. Bet you I need to come up here. You know, and the big giant crane. Here, you're being rude. That's excuse me. You're being rude. Well, there goes my way back. Buddy that way. Oh, buddy that way. Oh, dear God. Okay. Oh, okay. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, that was my mistake. When I shoot you with a shotgun in the chest, you're supposed to die. 
or in the head for that matter. Headshots don't always kill people in this game. That's probably the most frustrating thing about it, honestly. startled me. Am I the only person that doesn't trust an autosave? Like straight up, it will autosave and then I will save it again just to be sure that it actually saved. like that. I won't go that way. Now, let's see if I can remember this. Do I have to shoot the thing? Ah, yes. Shoot the wheel locks. Wheel blocks. There we go. <laughs> wait, wait, oh. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. medkits all over this yard that have painkillers in them. Hey, you don't want to come in here, buddy. That was just a poor choice. Almost didn't get him. That was almost bad. Oh, crap. Oh. 
That sucked. God, I hate grenades. Hooray! A bottle. Get these Ingrams back out. Fuck you shooting at me now. Where are you? Ah, bastard, get back over here. I got sniper rifle ammo, but okay, now I got sniper rifle ammo. There we go. How do I aim with this thing again? I don't remember. Oh, A. Okay. Now, can I zoom in? I gotta be able to zoom in, right? I mean... It's a sniper rifle. I would, I would imagine that zooming in is part of its capability. I have to check my controls. I'm bad. Yeah, there's there's nothing there. All right. Let's have to do it the old-fashioned way then. Ah, I missed him. Oh, there we go. Got him that time. Oop. Didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't get him. Okay, that time I got him. Wasn't too bad. God, old games in their super long ass segments just for filler. Probably should have just ran away. <laughs> oh, there he is.
Bye, Felicia. Jesus. That did not work in my favor. We're just going to pretend it didn't even happen. Can I blow it open? I'm gonna go ahead and guess that that's a no. Well, crippity crap, how do I get in there? Because my guess is that there's some painkillers in there. Yeah, I can see them right on the shelf. Crap. I don't know how to get in there. Oh well. I found Boris Dyer's ship. had to progress through the level to be able to get up. Got it. If I just moved forward and not been an idiot, then it would have been fine. But, as you may or may not know, that's just not my style. Rust had crept over the sides of the cargo steamer a long time ago. Boris Dime would be on board. I'd have to smoke half of his crew to even get near the gangplank. Guns were probably being kept in the hold, buried amidst the rats and oily water. Didn't expect that to be over so quick. Ooh. Did I actually get him? Holy crap, I did. I'm Angela Puccinello here. <laughs> Angie, tell me, how much did Dime cost you? I bet it was more than his name. Max Payne. Right the first time. You're dead, punk. You sure you're not confusing me with Boris here? But you are right, of course. Pretty soon we should get together and have a talk. You Pissing Punchinello off was a dangerous game. But when people get mad, they make mistakes. I should know. That's where I wanted Punchinello, mad enough to trip over his own feet. Preferably into a grave. I like that he admits that he makes mistakes, too.
There we go. I'll just munch on my painkillers. Crunch. Oh man, I could have blown those up. Crap. That's a lot. Jesus, H. Murphy. Did you get everything you need? Check. I owe you. Anything you need. This is my solo. When I'm through, Punchinello won't be anybody's problem anymore. Clear as vodka. But anytime you get between a rock and a hard place, just whistle. This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You really get a bang out of this big time gangster act, don't you? Even with all this firepower, I figured I couldn't get to Punchinello at his manor. I could only hope that he wouldn't pass a chance to hear me beg to see he's won. This is Max Payne. I want to cut a deal. Payne, you're a dead man. That's what everybody keeps telling me. I got your ship and her cargo. I want to meet. No pain, no gain. Capiche? You know my restaurant? Yeah, I know it. One hour. Punchinello's restaurant had seen better days. Snow was falling like ashes from post-apocalyptic skies. But that was outside. Things would soon get hot in the Don's restaurant. I knew it was a long shot. Angelo Punchinello actually showing up. But there was no crime in hoping. I said D'Angelo, of course. Whoa, all right. That's a lot of fire. Ah, okay. Feeling trapped. Let's try that again. Once more with Gusto. this I don't like it at all nope nope not a fan all the fire not my thing not crazy about it this is a very big restaurant insane Okay. We're not done. Could you just, like, fucking not with all the explosions? Oh, Jesus. Maybe just don't launch things at my face. The feeling was mutual. He was trying to put out my flames with gasoline. have been guarding a real treasure. It's the way out of this disco inferno. Did he just call it a disco inferno? Did he really just call it that? I, mean, I get it, you know, burn baby burn, but... Hell of a 
shot. the muck. City sewers. Vlad had seen my smoke signals. The Mercedes was revving to go, almost drowning out the banshee well of the sirens. You coming? We'll drop you off at the Punchinello Manor. Sounds good to me. When this is over, look me up. I could use a professional like you. I'll keep that in mind. The night groaned with cold. The garden lights flickered nervously. In their light, the falling snow was dead white before the darkness ate it up. I had heard the stories. The trio were mad dogs. They'd have hung the heads of their enemies over the manor gates if the capo had only let them. When Janela wanted pain, he'd see the pain. The trick in my situation was that there was no trick, no matter what the movies tell you. No rules, no secret mantra, no road map. It wasn't about how smart or how good you were. It was chaos and luck, and anyone who thought different was a fool. All you could do was to hang on madly, as long and as hard as you could. Someone had graciously left the back door open for me and killed the guards. My money was on Mona. I knew the trio would be standing between me and Punchinello. I had read their rap sheets, thick as phone books. No one would be walking out of here alive. The numbing cold of the broken night had followed me in. Upstairs, the trio tangoed down the manor halls to the silent rhythm of their murderous hearts. The blood of their victims rust on their lips. Vince Mignano, pilot Providence, a.k.a. Big Brother and Joe deadpan Salem. The pistol was a frozen lump in my hand, piercing the skin, gnawing me to the bone. All right, guys, and that's going to do it for tonight's stream. I really appreciate you joining in. We will make sure that we take down Don Punchinello next time. Uh, make sure you check the schedule. My next stream is Monday, and that will be Cyberpunk. Uh, same time as tonight, um, except that is going to be, I believe, a two-hour stream. Maybe that's only one hour, I don't remember which. Um, make sure you check the schedule, it is on there. So thanks for stopping by, I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for talking, and as always, I love you.